What we gotta do right here is go back. Back in the time. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's Adrian here and you're watching Bright Beauty 14. So today I'm going to be doing a collab with one of my YouTube friends, Emily. So you should really check out her video. It's um, DIY phone cases and I'll have the link right here on the screen or you can click the link in the description box. But whether or not you click it on the screen or in the description box, you need to watch it because it's going to be really great. And for my video, I'm going to be doing summer DIYs and I never ever do DIYs except for my Starbucks video so this is gonna be really really exciting um, so yeah I have a few DIYs for you I hope you guys will like it give it a thumbs up and make sure you check out Emily's video after this one so let's get into it so for this first DIY we're doing a DIY Brandy Melville sign so start off with a paint of your choice I chose a light blue because it makes it look really beachy so then I sponged on the paint lightly onto a piece of wood you can choose a piece of wood of any size this is going to be your sign so yeah just paint it on really like lightly so it's not too opaque or thick Then I'm using some letter stencils so I can um, paint on the words good vibes because that's what Brandy Melville's signs have, have. And I know this doesn't look exact but this is inspired and it does end up looking really really nice for your room. So here I am just sponging on some black paint to make the words. And I think this is actually really nice and it's a cute kind of little saying and I just touched up some of the missing parts with a paintbrush but it's really really simple and then after that I grabbed a pencil and a mug so I could trace a circle and I was doing this because I'm going to make a yin yang because that's what Brandy Melville has also and I had the space so I decided to fill it with this really nice yin yang and it all just looked so cute I love it so after this dries it dries really quickly by the way just go ahead and flip it over and then to hang it you definitely want to add in screws or thumbtacks I just added these ones and then you want to tie a string or cord or wire around it I would also recommend maybe like something silver just so it looks more authentic but I mean it works the same and then tie it around and knot it and then you can hang it up on your wall So this is the completed look. I put it on a shelf above my bed and it looks absolutely amazing and I completely love it. The second DIY I'm doing is a DIY tie-dye swimsuit cover-up and somewhat a muscle tee. So take an overs un oversized white t-shirt and then twist it up like I'm doing here pretty easily like into a flower so you're kind of just like twisting it up from the center and then just kind of scrunching it all so it makes this swirly rose looking thing and then just make sure that it's staying in that round shape the excess pieces don't really matter then take an elastic and just cross that over and then add another one and another one until you have three sections so they all cross off at cross over at the same point I think looking at this is a bit easier than listening to me but that kind of what it should look like at the end and you can even have more than six sections so once you do that you want to add in your tie dye and just pretty much choose any colors you want you can use the same ones or well definitely use different ones but then just like tie dye them and don't um, overlap the colors then once you're done with that leave it in a bag overnight wash it and then dry it but by the way once you wash it the colors will definitely fade a little bit so just be careful that that happens and then yeah just keep adding your colors and try not to overlap them too much um, but I felt like six sections was just enough once your shirt is done washing and drying, cut off the sleeves to make a muscle tee just like this. And then for the back part, just cut the back sleeves deeper in than the front part. So it's more of a racer back in the back part. Um, so make sure that only the back layer of the fabric is cut deeper and that the front stays the same. should look like when you're done with the cutting portion of the sleeves and then once you do that to make the gathered part you want to make two slits in the back which will create three separate um, yet somewhat connected strips so start by making a little cut and then cut all the way up 
until you reach the collar. Make sure you do not cut the collar or you'll have to glue it or sew it back, but just um, stop cutting once you're kind of there like I did there. And then again, make another slit. Um, oh wait, and then make sure that it's a nice long piece that it kind of goes kind of low. And then you wanna make another one beside it just so it makes three equal sections. And then do the exact same thing so that you have um, little strips at the end. <laughs> finished with cutting them stretch them out and any um, outer edges that are left to get them to roll in so that they look a bit cleaner and the rough edges don't really show as much and this is how it should look like now it's gonna be really easy after this now not that that wasn't that other part wasn't easy but next gather all three strips or sections together just nicely and make sure that they're all kind of laying against each other and that it's kind of held nicely then take an excess strip that you have and tie it together so that all of the three strips are kind of tied together pretty much yeah <laughs> um, so this is what it looks like super simple no sew no glue and this is what it looks like um, my bathing suit is underneath so you can kind of see how it looks like but it's a really nice racer back muscle tee perfect for the summer and it's really nice this only cost me like three dollars because the shirt I already had and the tie-dye I just bought so it was really really easy This next DIY is the DIY Healthy Fruit Slushy. So starting with a third cup of ice, a juice of your choice, lemonade, a blender, and fruit of your choice, you want to gather that all up into your kitchen and we're going to start by chopping up your fruit unless it doesn't need chopping, but I use about six strawberries and you can use really any amount that you want. It's really up to you. And then I use a third cup of ice because I felt like this was the perfect amount for a whole cup. But if you want more servings, I definitely recommend adding more and more, but it's just that my blender didn't like have that much space. Then I used one third of a cup of watermelon juice and one cup of lemonade. And then I added a little bit of sugar, but I mean, that didn't make much of a difference. So once you blend this up, you can just hear the chunks bumping around. And then once that's done, that's usually, you know, when it's done, once you don't hear that. And then I poured that in my cup and it's absolutely delicious, refreshing, tastes just like a slushy, except, you know, it's a bit healthier and a little less artificial with those like fake syrup flavors and stuff. <laughs> Thank you guys so 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 much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it but now that you've watched mine make sure you click the screen right here for emily's video or the link in the description also follow me on my social medias i actually changed my usernames so you might want to just check that out again um, links will be in the description also let me know if you like these and if i should do more diys and i know that summer is coming to it an end for some people so let me know when you guys start school so thank you guys so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure you subscribe because then you can be notified when I upload videos and I upload them every Wednesday. So yeah, I hope you liked it and I will see you in the next video. Ta-ta!